Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for the end of June. So this is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you. Some will be and some will not. We're just going to see what comes up for the end of June for whoever this is meant to be for. What do we have for Scorpio? Justice reversed. Well, that's not a good start, but it kind of is. I mean, there's, well, it's really not, okay? There's, there could be some injustice here. There could be some injustice. Maybe, maybe you're not getting what you deserve. Maybe you're in a one-sided situation where you're not getting what you deserve. Maybe you're being lied to. Maybe there's some um, dishonesty. I mean... Oh, the justice reversed. It really isn't good. You could be dealing with somebody that doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions. At all. Right? There's unfair treatment here. You may be being treated unfairly by another individual. There could be some legal issues that you're dealing with because of another individual who's not telling the truth. But I'm going to show you what's on the bottom here. We have the chariot. So you guys, you know, you're going to, you guys are headed in the right direction. I see you guys mastering your emotions and coming out victorious in whatever this situation is. You, you will be victorious. This is victory. This is triumph. This is success. And this happens because you face the opposition. You replace that fear with faith and you take you take the reins. It's like you, you master your emotions. You find the mental strength to deal with whatever this is. You are going to move past this situation and be the victor, whatever it is. Okay? Rest assured. What do we got for Scorpio? They're not being treated fairly in some way. There's unfair treatment. There's dishonesty. Somebody's not telling the truth. Ooh, you guys are stuck. You're stuck. This is in suspension, in limbo. You could be resisting change. You know? You're going through a period of enlightenment, but you're still hanging on to something that needs to be let go of. You know, if you keep hanging on to somebody that is lying to you or treats you unfairly, then, you know, then you're going to continue to struggle. Maybe you've got to let go. Maybe it's time to let go, to face this struggle, to look at things from a new perspective. Maybe you're treating your own self unfairly. Maybe be, you being stuck, you hanging on to whatever it is, is not allowing you to get what you deserve. You have to let go. Make that decision and stick to it. There's other options. There's other avenues. Choose a better option. Choose a different avenue. Yeah, it probably won't be easy. And you may be a little confused, but there is something better for you. There's another option here. You know, you have an opportunity. If you are single, if you are completely single, a Nine of Cups in reverse is really a good, good card. If you are completely single, somebody could be coming into your life that you could actually really fall in love with. This is a real love connection, something that you have been wishing for. That could be coming into your life, but you, you got to let go of whatever it is that you are stuck on. That's the very first card. It's a very prominent energy. Whatever it is that you are stuck on, you need to set the clear intentions. You need to make a clear cut decision that you want wish fulfillment, that you want to go after what you deserve. You need to make a decision. There's indecision here. 
with this reversed. You need to make a decision and stick to it. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment. There absolutely is. Things are going to look up for you. Think about it and wish for it and it will come. Trust me, it will. Oh, God. Somebody is in, in, in a situation where there's probably not reciprocation or it's not real love. Or you may be shutting down emotionally. Somebody is not. I mean, the cup is empty. There's There's... emptiness maybe you need to open your heart maybe you need to love yourself enough to know what you deserve to go after what you deserve there's a lack of emotional contentment here because somebody is stuck on something they're mirroring each other it's like there's an opportunity for love that you can't see See the blindfold is on. You can't see it because you're hung. You're stuck on something. Hung up on something. It's almost like somebody is throwing away an opportunity. Oh my God. It is almost like somebody is throwing away an opportunity for love. It's time to get out there. It's, it's time to open your heart in a new direction. This is somebody who is emotionally unavailable. Either you are hanging on to somebody that is emotionally available... Or somebody is hanging on to you that is emotionally available, unavailable. We have somebody here that is emotionally unavailable. There's lack of emotion. It's, you need to have a little fun. Maybe somebody has their heart set on somebody. Their heart is set on the wrong one. And that's what it looks like to me. You could be dealing with a person or you may be with, dealing with somebody who never has anything good to say. Somebody that ha is, you know, poor, poor, pitiful me. Somebody who is confused. Somebody is keeping you hanging. They're keeping you stuck. They keep, you know, they want to keep you stuck. Misery loves company. You're dealing with a shady individual, a sneak, a sly individual. Could be a cheater. Could be, and if it's not you, this can always go vice versa. This is somebody who is sneaky. This is somebody who is shady. Somebody that is decept deceptive. It's like this person, they, they come and they go. This person thinks that they're getting away with it. They think that they're getting away with playing you, whoever it is. It's, and you know what they're playing with? Your emotions. Your heart. This is somebody who's not very well suited for you. Something needs to come to a complete halt. Maybe you need to block this person completely. Or this person is going to block you. This is a blockage. There's jealousy here. There is some jealousy, definitely. Somebody may be feeling guilty. Don't let guilt get in the way. Wow, somebody is definitely not telling the truth. They're keeping you stuck. And somebody is reluctant to release the past. Why can't somebody, is there somebody here that will not release the past? Refusing to accept, refusing to wake up. Misjudging, you know, holding on, seriously. There's probably some self-loathing going on. There's lack of awareness. There's self-doubt. You are cheating yourself 
of love. Somebody is cheating themselves of love by holding on to somebody who is not well suited for them, somebody that is emotionally unavailable, somebody that may have blocked them, somebody that isn't really communicating with them or isn't communicating at all, and there is a better option. Somebody that you could have a deep, deep bond with. You are cheating yourself of wish fulfillment. You are cheating yourself of what you deserve by holding on to somebody that doesn't, that is, it's karma, okay? This is karma, and this is it's bad karma. It's in reverse. This is a karmic lesson of some sort, and somebody is refusing to learn the lesson because they're holding on to it. Afraid, fear of fear of the unknown, fear of taking a risk, fear of of. Uh, going down a new path. We have somebody here that is has an opportunity for a fresh start. There is an opportunity here. There's an opportunity to go to a whole new place, to start over someplace else. But somebody is just really reluctant to start that next chapter, to start that new life, to start over, to start with a clean slate. You know, you, when with things end for a reason. Things do end for a reason. Um, and there's, there's, there's a need to forgive. You could be dealing with a fire sign or another water sign that... is lying to you, you know, cheating you, deceiving you. Somebody's holding on to hope that there's going to be some sort of reconciliation. There's not going to be. You know, reluctant to move on. I can't make this shit up. You need, it's time, it's time to reevaluate. It's time to go to that better place. It's time to, you know... Let go of this trouble that you have been hanging on to. All it is is trouble. And it's caused you a lot of exhaustion. Let go of this thought. Let go of this idea. This is the death of an idea. Let it go. Somebody's feeling really empty inside because they're not feeling loved. Well... Here there's an opportunity for love here to deepen a deep bond, to, to deepen a bond, to have a deep bond with somebody. But somebody's lack of awareness by holding on to the wrong one is hurting themselves. And you've got to break free. Break free from this unhealthy, toxic situation. It's time to take back control. You could be holding on to a Capricorn. You could be holding on to a fire sign. You could be holding on to a water sign. doesn't matter who it is. This is break free. This is taking back control. Freedom. Freedom. Release. Maybe that's what you're doing. Maybe you're releasing. Maybe you're 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 gonna have take take the high road. Maybe it's time. Maybe you're deciding that you know you're gonna open your heart in another direction. Now this is love. This is a romance. This is a relationship. You could be somebody could be heading into your life that you know really has a lot of love to offer. You have to be ready for it. You could have been dealing with somebody who you know, came into your life with their eyes closed. You know, they didn't have anything in their cup. They didn't intend on uh, giving you anything. But I feel as though we have somebody here that is coming in. Could be a Taurus. 
we have somebody that is coming in that is emotionally available for love, but it's, you got to look at this. It's after you break free. Because breaking free comes first. It does. And I know some people want to deny this. But this, this is it, okay? You break free, love comes in. But you have to make that clear decision to open your heart in a new direction. There's an opportunity for love here. Could be with a Taurus, could be with anybody. Somebody that is all about commitment. But this is about believing in yourself. It's about listening to your gut. It's about following your own path. It's about divine guidance. It's about faith and trust. It's about trusting that, you know... Endings bring new beginnings. Okay, this is the death of an idea. But you're going to have to let go of the resent. You have to be logical. You can't shut down emotionally. We got This is somebody who uh, is cold and withdrawn. Not being logical. And that's the, that's, the, that's the death. Somebody is holding, somebody is not being very wise. This could be somebody that's holding on to you. You could have somebody holding on to you. Now, this is putting in effort, working hard. Oh, God, justice reversed again. Jeez, I'm crow. You guys are, it's like you guys are working hard to bring balance to a situation that isn't meant to be. Oh, my God. There's a one-sided situation here. Somebody is work, doing all the work. Working with an individual who is not available for love. I can't make this shit up. You got to let that go. You deserve, you deserve justice. You deserve equal. You deserve equal give and take. You deserve the truth. You deserve to be treated fairly. This is unfair treatment as well. <laughs> Oh my God, you guys are letting... It's almost like you're being bullied by another person. It's like you're letting another person bully you. You're allowing it. You're doing all the work. So, or one person, whether it's you or this is vice versa or whatever. So one person is doing all the, other, all the work where the other person is completely gone cold and withdrawn. And it's time to seize the new opportunity. There's another opportunity for love here, which I knew that there was. Let go of the regret. Look forward now. Take a new opportunity for love. There's a new, somebody, you know, there's an opportunity for love here. If you could just open your eyes and see it. Open your eyes and see it. Let go of the individual the top, or the situation that doesn't serve you completely. Could be dealing with a Libra. That would be the one that you would, I mean, if you're dealing with a Libra, that would be the one you need to let go of. Because they're both reversed. There's definitely karma here with judgment reversed and the two justice cards. We got karma here. And it isn't good karma. There's an opportunity to pay this karmic debt with acceptance. So yeah, there's an offer of love coming in. There is some sort of somebody, 
around you that wants you to give them a chance, that wants, you know, that could lead to love, it could lead to a relationship. But you have to let go of whatever it is that you've been hanging on to, that you've been stuck on. Could just be a thought. It doesn't have to be the actual, if you, if, I'll get a comment from somebody, I've been single for a while. Well, maybe it's your own thoughts. Maybe it's your own ways. Maybe you got to change your thoughts. Maybe you got to change your ways. Maybe, you know, you got to be open to a different possibility. Something needs to be let go of so that this new love can prosper. This new love can grow. There's an opportunity to have a deep bond with somebody who, you know, is available to love you, but it's not the one that you have been holding on to. Mm -mm. This person, this new person could be somebody you work with. There's somebody that you meet through work. You could meet this person at a church. Okay. At a church of some sort. Anyway, Scorpio, that's what I have. I feel like you guys need to seriously break free from an unhealthy situation because you got something better. Take the new opportunity. Seize the opportunity for love. You deserve it. That's what I got. Good luck.